jumping out of the way for more money. Yep, southbound here. We're gonna catch up here southbound now. Again, not. Look at look at that. Look at people running out in the street picking up this money. Absolutely. Yeah, now we're back eastbound again, making his way back towards Figueroa. We'll give you the street here in a second. But uh, yeah, throwing money out almost every few blocks. And uh, you can see people diving out of the street to get that cash. Now that we're on the air and everybody's watching this, you can see everybody running into the streets that are right in that intersection there. He's throwing money out. Now, let, you know, be assured that that is a felony. You're not allowed to take that money. That's supposed to be given back to the police department. Right now, that's stolen money, and that's uh, almost a almost people in the truck there. But now going back northbound. Yep. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you yeah. gonna do? What you gonna now, do? You can see this truck now, a pedestrian boys, truck, just a civilian truck trying to get in his way to slow him down. Definitely don't want to do that. Now this other truck is involved in this pursuit which is not a good idea. Not sure if that person is running interference for this person or if it's involved, but uh, that is something that that person is definitely going to be taken into custody for getting uh, involved in this pursuit and interfering with police operations. You don't want to do that. He's back to the right or back, uh, back behind us, Al, so we're going to go as more money comes out. A lot of people watching this getting involved in this pursuit, running out the streets back westbound as we hurry up to catch up. Uh, you can see that uh, at least three or four agents, three, you know, about six sheriff's cars involved, uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Air Support uh, Aero Bureau overhead right now as they come back up. Oh, we believe this is either Hoover or Vermont. Look at all the people just standing around waiting for this. Passing Vermont. Yeah, moving now uh, westbound on 47th from Vermont. Slowing down a little bit, but we have to be real careful for airspace here with LAX, so we're cr trying to coordinate to get you closer. But uh, now everybody is out on the streets here, uh, Philip and Leslie. Everybody's out watching this pursuit. Gone through these areas, through these streets. Yeah, and it's, al it's almost as if they're actually getting in the way of the pursuing officers. They're jumping in front of those police cars as that money flies out. Extremely dangerous. I mean, look at all those people. I've never seen anything like this. It's, uh, it's incredible. Westbound. Northbound. Well, I can't imagine how much money was stolen, but he has definitely been throwing bills out here for the past, I don't know, 15 minutes now, and it, they just keep coming. So uh, he must have gotten quite a lot of cash from that robbery, but you can see more people. They don't care. They're walking around the street right in front of those sheriff's deputies as he continues here westbound, working his way, Crockshire eastbound, working his way back towards Figueroa. But uh, north. Yeah, and you got to remember, too, that it... Go ahead, Leslie. Southbound Vermont. Going under us, to the left. Yeah, now he's southbound Vermont here, uh, running in the 40, uh, the 40 and the 50s down here, uh, as far as the streets are concerned. Driving a little bit more erratically. We've crossed him, seen him cross into oncoming traffic here. Now that's uh, back on Vernon and Vermont. You can see all the pedestrians out here continuing southbound of Vermont from Vernon. Uh, he's picking up the speed a little bit, picking up into oncoming traffic, and more and more pedestrians keep coming out in the street. Now, again, you got to remember, this is all evidence. All this money is, you obviously cannot take this money, and there are cameras and people are watching here. Look at that, and they're going back westbound. It is.
Steps out. North, uh, eastbound. Yeah, Leslie, absolutely. That Now that we've got the confirmation, it was a bank robbery. And what's interesting about that as he goes uh, eastbound on 47th Street is to find out if there were weapons used in the commission of that bank robbery. That's what the sheriffs are worried about right now. Not so much the money's coming out. They'll, they'll deal with that later. Right now they're worried that these suspects may still be armed. So they're, they're use, using caution. They're going past uh, Hoover here on, 40, on 47th. But that's what they're really concerned with. What weapons were used in the crime, getting interviews from the witnesses there, passing that information along to the sheriff's department to see what they've got as far as an officer safety situation. This is the third, uh, third pursuit in as many days here as we come up on Figueroa, South Mound on 40, uh, Figueroa from 47th. This is the third pursuit in as many days here in the uh, Southern California area. Uh, that we have covered here uh, on ABC7. Now, uh, again, this is the most unusual of the three, but last night we had that shootout, and here we've got this bank robbery suspect. So you can see the sheriff's uh, Aero Bureau helicopter going through the frame there, keeping an eye as he goes southbound on Figueroa here, getting further down to the south Los Angeles area as we cross 51st here at Figueroa. But uh, so far right now, the past couple minutes, haven't seen any more money coming out. But again, that big concern, uh, Philip and Leslie, is weapons involved. What weapons were involved in this crime? And we're uh, coming up on some construction site here, which may cause he's going back uh, east, uh, correction, westbound. That's 53rd Street here from Figueroa as he moves back towards uh, Hoover and then Vermont. Little Still westbound. Can't go any further west. Hey, Philip, we just got confirmation. And for, as we come up on Vermont here, passing Vermont on uh, east, uh, westbound 53rd, we just got confirmation that there are at least two people in the back seat along with the driver, so we still think we have three, three suspects on board. And we talked earlier about that uh, pursuit intervention te technique, not something they want to do, especially if the suspect is armed. We're going to continue westbound if we can here as quickly as we can to catch up with this thing. But uh, when the suspect is armed, what that does is that puts those officers right next, next to that vehicle. And that's not something they want to do tactically unless they know that the suspects are not armed. And right now, uh, we, d we don't know if that information ways to go northbound on Budlong from 53rd back up towards the Coliseum area. Absolutely. Westbound. West. West. Catch up, please. Oh, back northbound. Back westbound from Raymond. Come around. Come around. Eastbound. Eastbound. Northbound. He is northbound up. Uh, Yeah, we're northbound Kansas, guys. We're making our way back up towards uh, Vernon area. Just past Vernon, coming back up on uh, Martin Luther King. Uh, you know, and you almost see these people on the intersection as they're driving by, knowing he's driving by, and then 
at, you know, waving their hands like, throw me money, throw me money, and, and getting in the way of the officers and the deputies here, uh, turning back uh, eastbound. And uh, again, very dangerous, but that is uh, definitely a felony to get involved in like that. So uh, a lot of work, a lot of money being thrown out here. Officers got their hands full. But eventually what's going to happen here is this suspect's going to stop at one point. Most likely suspects are going to run. And uh, when they do that, they're going to set up that containment with the help of LAPD. And even though this is the sheriff's, uh, sheriff's the primary agency on this pursuit, LAPD is being advised uh, Southwest and 77th Division. We just got confirmation now there are only two suspects in the car, not three. Uh, we're getting, and we're going to continue here uh, approaching Hoover uh, eastbound. Uh, correction, yeah, eastbound. Not sure the street, but LAPD is being advised uh, 43rd Street crossing Hoover, and a bag just came out. You see there, someone's definitely going to pick that up. But now we're going to be northbound on Hoover, coming right back towards that uh, Coliseum area. LAPD Southwest Division in this area, moving between 77th Division and Southwest Division. You can be assured that LAPD is watching this. They might even have an airship overhead. Uh, and coordinating very closely with the sheriffs on what's going on with these guys. I think we're four entries. Westbound, eastbound, westbound, westbound. Vermont, T intersection, southbound. Got it. So, yeah, Westbound. Yeah, and it's very interesting to see this. Uh, now, it's a very, it, they don't really know how many suspects because they don't know if they had some standoff suspects sitting in the car during the robbery. That, okay, he's up on the sidewalk here. We're going to move a little bit further. Went up on the sidewalk there, nearly hit pedestrians southbound of Budlong. That was Budlong, we think, in 43rd when he went up on the sidewalk. Coming back westbound. See, there was no need for that suspect to go up on the sidewalk. Not really sure why he did it. We didn't see anything in the street there in his way. Back eastbound, coming back towards us. But... Getting a little reckless now, getting a little uh, careless and reckless. And again, so many, look at these people just running out in the street. This is, this is just absolutely nuts. These people need to know that this is a dangerous situation with armed suspects and, uh, and the vehicle itself. I mean, he, he's going to hit somebody here if this continues. Talk to me on 6, Jay. That's right. And that and that is Philip, you nailed it on the head, right? And that's a big consideration when an officer involves shooting. I mean, they have to consider their background, and, and these suspects start to engage the officers. They're not usually concerned about hitting other people, but those officers have to be very, very careful as we go uh, northbound Vermont here, the wrong side of the street. They've got to be very, very careful on what their background is, almost uh, seeing it uh, hit one of our trucks there. But uh, going back uh, northbound on Vermont here, looks like that might be uh, Vernon as he goes back uh, westbound. Uh, no, it just turned westbound. Yeah. Let's go further west. Yeah, see, this is not a good idea. These are these are citizens getting involved. Sheriffs are out. Guns are drawn. Hands are out. 
Okay, it looks like they're giving it up. They're going to pull them out. Very dangerous situation here. Not sure if they know. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, to know if they are armed or not. But Sheriff's not taking any more chances. Pulling at least two suspects out of the, out of the car. Clearing the right side of the car. And uh, taking them into custody. Well, it looked... You can see that suspect coming out. Got a tie tie on, possibly to be uh, to mix into the crowd at the bank. But they're loading loading them up into the vehicles right now. Now the idea is they want to get out of this area right now because you can see the individuals here uh, kind of crowding around here. They want to try to clean this up as quickly as possible. Uh, the crowd looks very supportive right now, clapping their hands and uh, and waving. It looks very supportive. But you can see the concern with those officers, both uh, sheriffs and LAPD. Sus su uh, the suspects are now being taken into custody here, but uh, yeah, just uh, wow, what a what a wild pursuit here, guys, down here. We haven't seen anything like this. We'll get to the cross street to where this thing terminated here. If you can give that to me, uh, we're gonna be working. No. Yeah, now I, that's all I got. Yeah, you can absolutely want to want to get out of there, Philip and Leslie. Absolutely want to get. Well, that is actually a that's a deputy there, Philip. That that's a deputy. Uh, looks to be a deputy investigator uh, in that uh, cream-colored shirt, blue jeans. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. again. And Philip and Leslie, we're now hearing that the sheriffs and LAPD are requesting at least a six or seven additional units to respond to the area for crowd control. You can see that's a 77th unit there at Kansas and Vernon, where we believe this terminated, trying to do crowd control and peel off these uh, citizens and uh, these people watching away from this crime scene at this point, get them out of the area. And so they're requesting backup and assistance to clear out this clear out this area. Right now, at least two to three hundred individuals, possibly even more, in this intersection, uh, causing this uh, causing this uh, ruckus here. We believe it's Kansas and Vernon. And uh, yeah, we just got confirmation on that. <laughs> 